Yo, what is up, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We got another challenger video and we're gonna be installing these one inch spacers on my sister's dog challenger. So they should look pretty sick. It's gonna stick it out quite a bit to give it more of an aggressive look. These are hub centric, which I highly recommend because what this does is it centers the wheel so it doesn't move around and that way it doesn't wobble. If you don't have a hub centric spacer, it's prone to wobbling in the middle and moving around where this puts some of the weight on the hub versus, you know, just the studs. So this is the company right here. I don't even know how to say that, so I'm not gonna try it. I got these on Amazon and they are five times 115 and I looked it up to see um, what size it would be and it says that it's this one so it should fit but we'll see right now once we test it out so let's go ahead and start putting these on the car right there you can see that it sinks in so it should poke it out a little bit All right, let's take these off and then put these spacers on. All right, so one side is completely on. This is the before right here. And then here's the after. Right there. It looks a lot more aggressive and stance here. And it should still sink in. It shouldn't really hit the fender, but we'll drive over now to check. Uh, the front does sink in a little bit more than the rear. But yeah, it looks really sick. Let's go ahead and do the other side. Alright, so here's the space that I installed. Uh, one thing that I wanted to kind of show you guys is the hub-centric portion right here. So here you can see that it doesn't move up and down. Um, if you have non-hub-centric, usually the hole is a lot larger. So it causes the spacer to move up and down, causing more wear on the studs. And you don't want that to happen. So these are perfect for that. Now we did one into one shoe with one of the wheels. It wasn't actually the spacer, but more the wheel on the inside. On one of them, these holes were a little bit smaller for some reason. So we just shaved it down with the Dremel. It was causing it not to seat perfectly and it had like a little bit of a space. So just be careful on that. Make sure that all the spacers seat perfect. It was only with one wheel. So one wheel was just defective. Well, not defective, but deformed in a way because the holes were a little bit smaller. So just enlarge them and it should fit perfect because then it was hitting the stud right in this end right here. Alrighty guys, everything's now installed. And it came out sick. Everything fits now. And we already drove it. No rubbing. Nothing crazy going on. Sounds normal. Like if nothing was installed. Our only concern was if it was going to rub, but it didn't hit at all. We went over a few bumps. No issues. Um, if you went with a bigger spacer, most likely like a inch and a half, that would most likely hit because the back does stick out like right on the fender. As you can see, it's like pretty flush. Alrighty guys, so here is the Dodge Challenger now complete with the spacers installed. This honestly took maybe an hour. It only took an hour because we were having issues with that rear spacer. Um, it wasn't sitting properly, shaved it down. Now it fits with no issues and it just makes the car look a whole lot more aggressive. And the reason you would want to pick up spacers is because you want to give the car more of an aggressive look. It also actually helps out stick out the tires a little bit more so you can get better grip. But if you really want to keep these wheels, because they are really nice. If you look at them, they're like a gunmetal gray, which looks really clean. Because if you want to buy some wheels, um, if you do 20s, you can keep these tires because these are 20s. But 
then you would have to go ahead and purchase the wheels and the new tires if you go with the different size let's say you do 19s versus the 20s you have to purchase those tires as well so it can cost a lot of money if you want to get new wheels you're looking upwards of 1k just to be able to swap up some wheels um, if you go used and or new you know the price may vary but it came out really sick we've done a lot of things to this car already in such a short time we did the wicker bill the diffuser uh, we just got a um, roof spoiler for the back right here so that's going to look really sick once we install that that'll complete the rear end and maybe do a few more things in the front we also did a blackout on the rear tail lights um, the side markers are blacked out and then the emblem already comes black like that and then we installed this front splitter on her challenger as well so it's coming out really nice looking really sick and hope to do a lot more things to this car in the future i will link down in the description below which spacers i picked up uh they were only i think about 80 dollars for the full pair so the two front and the two rear and they're exactly the same size so it'll fit on either one wherever you want to put it uh, the only thing that i would recommend doing is just checking to make sure that they sit completely flush like right here just make sure that there's no gap between the spacer and the wheel also on the rotor if there's a gap it's not sitting properly and you also see the wheel wobble a little bit um, if it's not sitting take it off figure out what's going on and then fix it but yeah that's gonna conclude the video so thank you guys so much for watching make sure to like subscribe hit that bell notification and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace